Today on Hasha's Kitchen, we're going to make a delicious, fresh, homemade guacamole. And people, when I bring this to a party, people love it and it always goes. So, you know, you go to a Mexican restaurant, a nice place, you sit down and they make the fresh guacamole or either right there at the table or behind the counter and it's delicious. But then if we go to a party or if we have people over, what do we do? We go to the grocery store and we buy a tub of that green stuff they call guacamole. It looks like mashed potatoes. And it's, you know, it's kind of bland, it's okay, but we can do better than that, people. And I'm gonna show you how. So here's what you're gonna need. I've got a lot of different utensils here. We're gonna show you different ways to prep things, but the base recipe, here's what you're gonna need. I've got six medium-sized avocados. I've got a red onion. You could use a white onion if you want, but I like red. I've got three Roma tomatoes. You're gonna need two limes, some cilantro, salt, pepper, and some canola oil. So let's get cooking. So for the first step, we're gonna prep our avocados. Now the first thing I would do, there's this little pit here on the end of it, a little stem. I would remove that and throw it out so it doesn't wind up in your guacamole. Then what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a towel to protect your hand and you're gonna need a knife, like a chef's knife. And we're gonna hold it and we wanna go around the avocado the long way like this and try to make one nice cut Okay, then you can take the avocado and split it in half just like that, okay? Then we gotta get rid of this pit. And the easiest way to do it, again, use a towel to protect yourself. Just take the butt of your knife and hit the, avocado, hit the pit like that and it'll just pop right out, just like that. Then we can get rid of the pit. So then we're gonna set them all on the cutting board and we need to do all six. So I'm gonna do the rest of them now, okay? Here we have all of our halved and pitted avocados. Now, um, I'm gonna show you an easy way to dice them and get them out of the shell and into the bowl. But first, some of these avocados, you can see they've got a little bit of brown spot on them. So you can just take a spoon and kind of scoop any of the brown stuff out like that. Just get that in a garbage bowl. Yeah, nobody wants to eat that brown stuff, so let's get rid of that. So once you go through and get rid of most of the brown spots, now we need to dice them and get them out of the shell and into the bowl. So um, what you're going to do, grab just a normal butter knife like this, and you're going to take it and you're going to score the avocado uh, just like this. You're going to make marks just like that, like you're dicing it inside the shell. And one way to do it, this is the way that I learned in Mexico, is once you have it diced, you can then just go and squeeze it and all the avocado pops out and it's already diced. If you don't want to do it that way, I'll show you another way. Again, the same way, grab your butter knife and just dice it. The reason I'm using a butter knife is so I don't cut through the, the shell and uh, nick my hand. So there, I, I, I diced it in the shell. You can also just take a spoon and get it right around the outside of it like that and it'll all just come out just like that and it's all diced and in the bowl. So I'm gonna continue with that. I'm gonna dice these in the shell and get them in the bowl and then we'll move on to the next step. So now all of our avocado is, is diced and in the bowl and the next step is going to be the onion. Now I'm gonna use half of this medium sized red onion. I'm gonna peel it and then mince it. Now I don't like big chunks of onion in my guacamole so we're gonna make sure we mince it real fine and I'm gonna get started on that right now. Okay, so here we have our peeled red onion. I'm gonna cut it in half the long wise and keep that little stem there. And I'll show you why here. It makes, makes dicing it a lot easier. So I'm gonna put one half off to the side and keep one half of the onion here. So if you wanna mince a, an onion really fine, here's how you do it. Take the onion and go down from the top like this into little slit, little maybe a quarter of an inch apart, just like that, all the way down. You don't go all the way through the stem part. You, you go just short of it so it, it acts like a handle. Then take your knife and lay it flat, and then you're gonna cut this way the same way, maybe about a quarter inch. Again, don't go all the way through, just up to the handle, about a quarter inch. Go up a little bit, go a quarter inch, just like this. So now, when I cut across the whole thing, it's gonna be nice 
perfect little minces, just like that. So there's an easy way to mince an onion. So I'm going to finish this up and get it in the bowl. Next up is to dice the tomatoes. Now I'm going to dice these, but I'm not going to add them to the mixture yet. Uh, and I'll show you why later. But so far we've just got the avocado and the onion. So I have three tomatoes here and I'm going to show you an easy way to dice them and get rid of that mushy guts that's in the middle of it. I don't want that in my guacamole. So I'm going to have, I have a nice sharp knife. I'm just going to cut the ends off like this on all the tomatoes. Then, this is the easiest way that I know to do this. Take your knife and cut through just a little bit. And what we're going to do is just use your knife like this and unwind the tomato. And when you get it flat, you can just slide the knife like that and all the guts come out right into the bowl, just like that. If there's any, a little bit more, you can scrape them out. But so now we've just got the flesh of the tomato. Okay, so here we have our kind of gutted tomatoes. Now, when you're dicing tomatoes, you always want to cut from the inside out. If you go from the hard part out, that's when your knife can slip and give you a cut. So if you cut from the inside out, your knife will have a spot to grip. So I'm just going to cut all these in half. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the tip of my knife on the cutting board, and I'm going to cut strips. I don't know, maybe three-eighths of an inch, something like that. So we're cutting that tomato into strips. Then I'm going to turn them the other way, and now we're just going to cut the other way, and you're left with perfect dices, just like that. My tomatoes are diced now, and I'm going to set those aside. The next thing I'm going to prep is the jalapeno pepper. Now, there's, if you like something really spicy, I'll show you how you can make it really spicy. But I'm going to make this just for most people that want maybe just a little bit of spice, but not too much. So with, with the jalapeno, what we're going to do is we're, it's already been washed. We're going to cut both the ends off like this. And then I'm going to take my knife and cut it right down the middle longwise, just in half like that. Now all the heat is in this white stuff, the seeds and the pith. So I'm only going to use half of one. I'll set that other one aside. What you can do is take the tip of a spoon and just get in there and scrape out the white stuff. So what you're left with is just the flesh of the jalapeno, which is a really nice bright flavor, just a little bit of heat. And uh, that way it's not too spicy. Uh, but again, if you like a lot of spice, keep that stuff in there. Now, we want a real fine dice with the jalapeno. So I'm going to press it into the cutting board. I'm going to take my knife, and we're going to do the same thing like we did with the tomatoes. Cut some strips, but I'm going to cut these real fine. Then you can take those strips, turn them this way, and now run your knife. When you use a chef's knife, the, the proper way is to pinch the blade like this and then keep your fingers tucked like this. That way you won't cut yourself. But uh, you can, now we can just go across the other way, just like this, and make it a real fine dice. Like that. Any, any big pieces you can just chop up again. And now we're going to add that to our bowl with the onion and the avocado. And next up, we'll prep the cilantro. Next up is the cilantro. Now some people like cilantro, some people don't like cilantro, so you can add more or less or none at all depending upon your tastes. But I'm going to show you two different ways how you can prep the cilantro. It's already been washed and dried. Now when we were in Mexico and we watched a, a class on making guacamole, they included the stems. And so I've been doing that since uh, as well. So you can use a knife on a cutting board and mince it up. We need a quarter cup total. But what I like to do when I'm mincing things is just get them in a coffee cup like this. And I'm just going to tear this up. Um, and what I'm going to do is just take some scissors and just start mincing like this. And what, what this does is it keeps all the herbs in the coffee cup and it doesn't make a mess. So I'm just going to keep going with this for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 seconds. And we're going to have some nice, finely minced up cilantro. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of it to our, our mixture. Quarter cup, and I'm going to add it to the mixture. Next up is going to be the lime. Now, some limes are bigger than others. Some are juicier than others. But in general, to start, we're going to start with the juice of one lime. And to get a little bit of more juice out of your lime, you can roll it on the cutting board. And that kind of breaks up the inside a little bit. And it'll, it'll let you get more juice out of it. 
And so what we're going to do next is I'm going to cut this lime in half. Now, I have one of these juicers. If you don't have one, they're fantastic. They're like a garlic press. You can stick the, the lime right in it like that, and I'll show you how, how well it works. You stick the lime in like that, and you just press it down like a garlic press, and all the juice comes right out, just like that. If you don't have one of these, it's okay. You can just grab it and juice it however you want. You can squeeze it, but we want to get as much in there as possible. So we're just going to put in the juice of one lime for now, and we're going to save the other one for later in case it needs a little bit. Uh, when it's on the table, we're going to taste it just to see if we need a little bit more. All of our ingredients are now prepped. Most of them are in this bowl, and we still have the diced tomatoes over here. Now we're going to get ready to actually make the guacamole. So I'm going to add some kosher salt. Um, for me, it's a pinch. It's about a teaspoon. And we're going to adjust that a little bit more later, too. So about a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of fresh pepper. We're going to add two, two tablespoons of canola oil. Let's make it nice and smooth and silky. Two tablespoons of canola oil right here. Okay. Then I have a, a potato masher. Now I like mine a little bit chunky, so I don't want to mash it till it's perfectly smooth like mashed potatoes. But this is up to you. If you like it really chunky, just mash it a little bit. If you like it smooth, mash it a lot. So we're just going to mash this up till it's pretty smooth with some chunks left. For me, that's about perfect. It's still a little chunky, but it's plenty smooth as well. Now, we're going to add the tomatoes. Now, the reason I don't add them earlier is I don't want to squish the tomatoes when I do that step. So now, I'm just going to add about two-thirds of the tomatoes and fold them in and see how it looks. Yeah, I'm going to add a few more tomatoes. Okay, so there we go. There we have our fresh, delicious guacamole. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. All the flavors are gonna meld. And then in order to do that, guacamole can turn brown on you. So we're gonna take some plastic wrap. And what you wanna do is not just cover the bowl, you wanna get it down all the way on top of the guacamole and get rid of any of the air might take a couple pieces to do that. But get it all the way down on the guacamole like that. Stick it in the refrigerator for a little while. Then when we take it out, when we're getting ready to eat, you're going to want to possibly adjust two seasonings. Guacamole can maybe use more lime juice and more salt. You can serve this for the Super Bowl, 4th of July, Cinco de Mayo, whatever you want. But there's Hasi's Kitchen guacamole. The guacamole has been sitting in the fridge for about an hour. I took it out, I'm gonna taste it and adjust the seasonings with salt and lime juice if I need to. And I wanted to kind of recap, this is definitely enough for say six people. My family of five, we can demolish a whole, a, a whole portion of this. Um, and as far as cost goes, all the avocados, the tomatoes, the onion, it was right around $10. So I, I, I urge you, try this sometime. The next time you wanna serve a dip or a guacamole, try making it yourself. It doesn't take that long, it doesn't cost that much, and I promise you it tastes better than the store-bought stuff. So here, I'm gonna taste it real quick, just a little bit. Mm, that's good. But yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt just a little bit, and I'm going to freshen up with a little bit more lime juice, and I think it's going to be perfect. So anyway, there's another episode of Hossie's Kitchen Guacamole. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.